Hey, it's Keith from Save the Rust. Tonight we're going to work on my uh, 1942 Harley. Get it ready for some more summer riding. This bike has been with me for about nine years. It's one of my favorite bikes. Um, I, to put a video up on it, on the history I have with this thing. And uh, can't wait to ride it. It is so fun. Um, it's hard to explain why... A foot clutch hand shift is so much fun until you do it and then I think you understand you know it's uh I just I, I just enjoy it immensely so one of the things that we uh we got last summer was this Goulding sidecar so I don't know much about Goulding sidecars all I know is that uh this one's Probably from the 40s. Uh, a friend of mine has one on a 43 uh, WLC. And they came on some 1942-43 Harleys. Um, I have to find some documentation. My buddy's a pretty knowledgeable guy. And he told me there was, a, I don't know, 40 of them or something. I can't remember what the number exactly was. But um, we got this one last year. Uh, through a buddy it was local um and i knew the previous owners but uh it's rough I'll, I'll let's put it that way um it's hard to really see but there's supposed to be a body line there you can kind of see it on the door but what you can see is when you look on the inside you see that body line right there that should be pronounced on the outside but it isn't so there is a pile of Bondo on here. There's some fiberglass repairs, but whatever, it exists. It's got the door, super cool. Open and close. It's got a little latch on it, you know, pretty neat. I like that feature. Um, not sure about the fender. It looks Harley to me, but something's been kind of played with it. I don't know what's missing, what mounts are correct. <laughs> the cap on the uh, on the wheel, in my opinion, looks like the galvanized top of an old fence post. So I haven't done much uh, research on this one yet. Square spring in the front, kind of neat. Is it original? I have no idea. Um, you can see this something or another kind of brace that's been welded. And it, that's not factory. This isn't factory. I don't know exactly what. I haven't done enough research. You know, I pulled it out of the container this uh, spring. I did hook it up to that, that blue 1942 last summer just as a, let's see you know what it feels like and um it was a lot of fun it uh it's got a three-point mount and it's specifically made for a harley 45s so it's a rare piece you don't find them at all like they're you know it's the only one i've ever seen other than my buddies and his is a complete military bike and military sidecar with the numbers on the front and stuff. Really cool piece. I rode it. Um, I was I did some work on it for him and uh, got to ride it around. It was a lot of fun. The only problem is is with the forty fives. I mean they're underpowered already. You know these bikes were only seventeen to twenty one horsepower, and uh, with my gearing on this one at thirty three tooth sprocket, it's you know I designed it to go on highway miles. You know, get a bit more highway speeds. And when you have a sidecar, it really kind of slows you down. It You need a little bit uh, um, smaller gearing on the bike to pull the sidecar. So I'll probably put it back on. You know, I'm not sure what we're going to do if I just, you know, spray bomb it a color or something. But... The plan for this bike, this sidecar, is to put it on my my kid's bike. So 
my 10 year old has a 1942 Harley I built for him and uh, we're gonna put it on there. You know, this is not a restoration. This was just a redo. You know, you can tell it's got um, civilian fenders and it's not, it's not, it was just a quick redo because it was yellow. It was screaming yellow, this bike. So I had to get rid of that and it ran and shifted and stopped and started. So let's just enjoy it, you know, put some uh, cheap paint on it and we're going to enjoy it. So what we'll do is we'll, at one point, we'll join that sidecar to that chassis, paint it green, and, uh, you know, he'll have to learn how to use a foot clutch and tank shift, and he can, uh, it'll be easier for him to learn with a sidecar. So that's kind of where we're going to end up at one point, but we'll probably toss it back on this bike a little bit off and on over the summer, and, uh, you know, we'll just have fun with it. So getting back to the 42, I'm uh, going to start cleaning it up doing its spring service you know one of the things i'm going to do is go through all the grease nipples there's grease nipples everywhere and i love that fact because you add grease to it it's going to last forever and uh there's grease nipples i mean everywhere on the hubs ever, all over the place so i'm going to start on that do a thorough cleaning um one of the things I don't really do, I'm not a big, I don't, I'm not a big detailer. I'm not a big cleaner. You know, I, I kind of clean my bikes here and there, um, but I don't have the time to clean these bikes. I have, I'm a busy guy and I, I want to go riding. When it's time to ride, I want to ride it. So my bikes will normally look uh, dirty, semi-clean, but that's okay to me. Um, I'd rather use them than just sit there and polish them. And they're not spectacular, you know, as far as, uh, you know, nice new chrome or anything. So I, I don't really care. I just want to ride it, you know. So, but this one's a little rough. Like, it's uh, obviously got some battery acid on it and, you know, because the battery overflow. So it uh, it needs a good cleaning and going through. One of the things about cleaning your bike, though, that um is a benefit is uh when you're going over it you're gonna find something that's loose that you normally wouldn't so by wiping everything down cleaning everything you know going through everything making sure you're gonna find something that's loose you know just kind of everything has to be touched and poked and prodded and just make sure that you got uh everything's nice and tight so uh I'll do some video on this of uh, servicing this bike and uh, and we'll get it fired up for you. Um, this motor is at kind of the end of its life. There is uh, no more adjustment on two of the four valves. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do. I'm not sure if you can, you know, grind the stems on the valves or not. I, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, what will happen is once we do wear it out, we'll send it off to get rebuilt. And that's not a bad thing. And I tell you, if you're, re if you're wearing out 45s, that means you're riding them. Um, I wish I knew exactly how many miles I had on this thing. Um, but for many years, the speedometer never worked. And I could care less. Like, I barely could do the speed limit anyway. So I'm never getting a ticket on it. So, uh... It's probably got, I don't know, 30,000 miles on it since I've got it. And it was wore out then. It was used then. Or not wore out, but it was uh, used then. There is a unique little feature on this. On the oil pump or or above the oil pump, there's a, someone marked their initials on here. And it was rebuilt in uh two of 82 now is that the last time it was rebuilt or the time before or three times before i have no idea but it's possible that was the last time it was rebuilt because it did sit in a harley in a collection at a harley shop and a harley dealership for uh over 20 years so and i've had it for nine 
So we're talking, you know, since the 90s. So it's possible that was the last time it was uh, rebuilt. So follow along and uh, we'll, we'll ride this. We're going to ride this a lot this summer.